Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again, back with another fitness video. So I've been getting a lot of questions from you on injuries. You know, should you work out during an injury? If you have an injury, you know, uh, how do we know if the injury is acute? What do we do if 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 we get an injury? Should we work out? Should we not work out? What kind of food should we have if we have an injury? Are there any supplements which help us not to get injured and stuff like that? So I'm going to address each and every question in this video. So number one, injuries. You know. I think injuries are very very common uh, uh, you know uh, uh, in in fitness you know uh, and you know we should accept them you know there will be a time in your life when you know you will be injured there will be a time in your life when you would not be able to work out uh, even though you would want to so please accept that it happens it's very very normal but you know they say about injury that you know more than affecting you physically injuries affect you mentally don't let that affect you if you have an injury it could be a you know typically uh, uh, injuries usually uh, the the really bad injuries are, are the one related to your back and shoulders you know because if you if you develop a lower back problem uh, or, or a shoulder problem chances are you know more, and most of the weight training is strength training movements around those areas so you will not be able to train so in, in in a situation like that i would say avoid training app completely just add on just 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 don't train and give yourself some rest for a couple of days and, and uh, before it recovers so that's more on the injury side you know i also want to touch upon this uh, topic about nutrition in terms of how you can actually what kind of food that you can eat uh, uh, in an injury uh, which can actually avoid that inflammation you know inflammation is nothing but you know swelling of that area so uh, let's say you have you've developed a, a very minor injury in your ligaments while 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 doing squat or anything in a situation like that i would request all of you not to have any processed food or anything related to you know anything spicy you know because these these are food which will, will really you know escalate the inflammation of that particular area so avoid it eat you may want to eat bland food for a couple of days but just avoid junk avoid processed food especially potatoes and tomatoes you know these are the kind of food which will actually make things little worse for you so if you have a minor injury here and there and we all have injuries you know uh, some injuries are very acute you know which happens like uh, like like as i said you're squatting and suddenly you know you have a ligament tear uh, or, or some could be you know a uh, uh, very chronic you know while lifting shoulder uh, you lift i'm saying lifting shoulder <laughs> while doing shoulder press or, or while doing uh, uh, anything related to your back like say so shoulder you develop this chronic pain on your rotator cuff these are acute injuries you know and some are injuries which actually which are recurring which come back after years like for example i had an injury on my ankle Uh, and i didn't pay attention to but couple of years back and it came back haunting to me after 6 7 years so these injuries also happen so in a situation like that understand see the gravity of that injury understand if it's bad how bad is it and then take a step forward going obviously consult your doctor uh, uh, especially a, a physician who can actually guide you in terms of what's the level of that injury is So I've been talked about food that you can avoid. You can. I'm also going to talk about the food that you can actually have uh, if you're injured. For example, uh, uh, if you were to, uh, I've always tell you this: uh, uh, the good to have food, which is multivitamin. So multivitamin. If you take multivitamin as a precaution, chances of you injuring yourself will be a lot lesser. I also talk about glucosamine, you know, which is available at a chemist. It helps you with joint fluid. So if you have a joint problem, if your body does those cut, 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 or you have a calcium deficiency, deficiency, you know, uh, and 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 you know your bones are weaker, or joints are weaker, I would suggest you can also take glucosamine. and and calcium of calcium of course you know it's going to help you with your bones it's available at the counter over the counter at any of the chemist you know also uh, vitamin c you know uh, and and you know i can go on and on about uh, vitamin c because it really helps with your tissue repair and helps you with that uh, uh, muscle growth and we don't really don't know because these things they work at the back end they don't work like creatine or they don't work like any other pre workout wherein you have it and you see the result they work as an insurance policy you got to have them because once you have an injury uh, uh, then you will exactly know the importance of these things these things will actually prevent you from getting injured especially those small time injuries here and there which can actually stop which which has high nuisance value and stops you from working out you know uh, and, and and i talked about uh, types of injuries you know you have acute injury like you know tearing a muscle you know uh, breaking a bone breaking a leg whatever that's an acute injury if you have an acute injury while working out stop training do not train at all just put everything to a stop go home and rest number 2 
you know and, and you know people say and not just people i also recommend that you know most of these acute injuries happen either because of bad form or lack of warm up we don't like to warm up when we hit the gym we just in a mood that hey let's work out man you know that's why it's important for you to have the importance of right warm up you know uh, i'm not even going to talk about cooling down because cooling down is actually more important than warm up because uh, just imagine if you if you've done your weight training session it's important for you to stretch and cool down so that your body can come to a normal position and even in terms of because your heart rate is really high you know your body has really stretched has gone through that wear and tear so i'm not even going to talk about how important cooling down is but i'm only going to suggest you if you really want to avoid injuries put more or give more attention to a warm up like a 5 minute warm up session you know you can probably you know do all the small little exercises here and there or i would also suggest you if you really in a hurry to lift weights uh, you can also do like very light you know you can pick up weights you know probably 1/10th of what you would lift and do like a warm up set with it you know with higher repetition so that you kind of get into that groove so that's more of an acute injury and warm up and lack of warm up is also one of the reason which contributes to it you know then there is a, a, a sub acute injury you know like a you know muscle wear and tear you know this is something that happens once in a while you really don't have to worry too much about it you know uh, but they have very high nuisance value you know uh, you can work out in this in a, if you have a sub acute injury but uh, uh, it because they're so bothering they're so nagging you they will stop you from working out so that's what i'm saying so you got to avoid these kind of uh, 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 sub acute injuries you know by again doing proper warm up and then there are, uh, you know chronic injuries they come back you know uh, you know after years like a rotator cuff problem a lower back problem so you got to be very very careful with these injuries and you know if you develop a chronic problem i would suggest go see a doctor immediately and figure out a solution to that exercise so especially when it comes to your lower back remember back pain is very 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 important for you to get it right if you have any lower back stiffness or anything related to back do not work out at all immediately go to a doctor first rest for a couple of days see if it recovers if it doesn't you know go see a doctor because you know everything revolves around your back that's why it's called a back bone you know and you know you must have heard of this if you if you get an in- acute injury if you if you tear a muscle or whatever you can always follow this rice method r i c e where r stands for rest i stands for i c stands for compression e stands for elevation which means if you have an acute injury first thing you have to do is rest number 2 is apply ice on it do not heat it up man do not give you know people have this especially indian people have this habit of you know putting the ointment And, and and then giving a sake you know a heated sake a massage on it don't do that man just put ice on it let it recover if it's an acute injury third uh, obviously you got to uh, uh, compress it so that you know it doesn't get inflammation and e obviously elevated it. if it's a leg injury you just got to keep it up so that you know the you know the area doesn't get uh, clotted with, with 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 blood vessels so these this is some of the things that you can do if you're injured you know and remember even if the injury is let's say sub acute you would still want to train but train with not the same intensity train with lighter weights but focus more on you know the movement the range of motion so that you don't hurt especially if you have a rotator cuff problem and you feel that it comes back you know if you do specific if you lift specific weights so don't go to that weight level go probably light weights and you know get the form right so that the moment it starts hurting you you stop right there so these are some of the important things that you really need to be cognizant of you know um, when it comes to injuries remember injuries will always happen and you have to work around them you know uh, if you think that you know you'll never get an in- you never get injured you know you'll always be pain free it will never happen so you got to accept it with a pinch of salt but hey remember you will get injured but what matters is that how do you cope up with that injury that's going to be a true test of you you have to not only cope up you have to come right back and it should be make it should make you more stronger so that you don't get injured again so that's what you should take back from any injuries you know don't let it affect you mentally because injuries do tend to more than physically as i said they take a toll on you mentally so don't let it happen so i hope these are some of the tips that may that will come in handy to you you know obviously whenever get injured follow rice uh, if it's a low back pain or if it's a rotator cuff pain i would say put a stop to it stop your workout especially when it comes to your lower back especially when people do deadlifts they develop low back stiffness rest for 2 3 days if it doesn't go hey probably you may want to uh, uh, speak to a doctor but here's a tip if if your lower back is stiff 
uh, while doing deadlifts that means you were not contracting your abs properly so you may want to do that contraction right you will never get stiffness on your lower back uh, if your core is activated so maybe you're not doing that so this is some of these are some of the tips that will come in handy to you any one of you have any questions or our injuries hey feel free to reach out to me either on my facebook youtube or on my whatsapp group and i'll be very happy to uh, uh, take this discussion forward so until we meet again peace